Okay, so the rug you just saw is one that I did earlier for a customer. So I'm going to show you how I did that rug. I am using the Traffic Master that I bought from Home Depot. It is an 18 by 30 inch border doormat with rubber backing and the pile is 100% Polyester. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can. Probably blurry, but it's 100% polyester. So, I have my heat press at 400, and I'm going to do 60 seconds with a heavy, heavy um, press. So, I've got my design. I read, um, did my logo to one of the little cartoon logos since everybody's doing it. So, um, since the rug is about 24 inches across, I'm going to do it in three press because I'm going to put a border on there. So it's about, I guess I could put it this way. The part that I'm going to sublimate is about 24 inches across. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a 13 by 19 for the main image, and then I'm going to do borders. And what I did for the borders, I did two and a half by 13 on both sides of my rug. So these are going to be my borders, just checkerboards. And I'm going to press them one at a time because I want them on the very edge of the rug. So I'm going to put this. On pause and I'm gonna get it on the heat press so you can see it on the heat press so what I did was I took the squares and I put it on the very edge I'm gonna put it on the very edge of the rug on both sides so give me a second let me get it on the heat press so I have it in the center of my heat press. I have a 16 by 24. I'm just going to put one piece of tape at the very top. And yeah, put the tape on before you get it under the heat press. Don't do it like I just did. I'm going to cover it with protective paper and a heavy press. 60 seconds. Okay, it's almost at 60. Right. Let's take the paper off. Awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other side. Put it in the middle of my heat press. Line it up on the edge of that rectangle. One piece of heat tape. Okay, so I have my borders. Let's see if I can push back so you can see the borders. So I have my checkerboard borders on both sides. So I hope you can see that. So now I'm going to do the main image. And 
the main image is a new logo of sorts that I just did. This is my regular logo that I have now. I don't know if you can see that. It's really blurred. But... Sorry about that. So now I'm going to reveal my new logo and I'm going to press that right in the center of the checkerboard. So this is the logo that I came up with. Well, this is a picture of me that I got done when I was in Miami last year or the year before. I believe it was the year before. So, I'm going to get this centered as best I can. And I did a lot of colors The um... One that I did with sampling and sign didn't have as many colors, so I really want to see how these colors are going to turn out on this rug, because it's like a beige color. So I want to see if they're going to pop. So again, I'm going to do 60 seconds, 400 degrees. Heavy, heavy pressure, as heavy as I can get it. Oh, I got to bring that down. So. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hang it now, but I sized it to fit precisely in there. So. It's not hanging off. Okay, I'm going to put it back on. I'll get another piece of protective paper. So we're going to slide this sucker in. I don't need them gloves to add them. So again, I have it in the center. This is a 13 by 19 sheet of soil paper. I put the tape at the top just to hold it down when I slid it in there. And we're going to go for heavy pressure. 60 seconds. Okay, we're ready. I'm going to get these gloves on. I'm going to turn it around this way. Oh, that thing smells a bit bad. So, let's see what we got going on. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I love it. I hope you can see it. I'm going to put some pictures up, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I, oh, them colors popping on there. So, again, this is the Traffic Master from Home Depot. It's 18 inches by 30 inches. Border door mat. I'll put I'll drop a link below. And um wow, I'm really happy. Really happy. See, one thing I could do better, right? Let's see. Probably should have made original white, but you can still see it. I still love it. So just stay tuned. I got a surprise for you.
Hello, hello, hello. So what I'm going to do is what I call a second chance drawing. I had a raffle in my Facebook group, Cricket Crafting, dot, 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 the beginning of and beyond earlier today. And what I raffled off was a packet with sublimation items and a packet with epoxy silicone items. Okay, so you know I sell items. So what I what I did was give away one package. We'll raffle off one package and I decided to do what I call second chance drawing. So I'm going to do a second chance drawing on the items and let me explain it to you. So give me a second to share my screen. <clears throat> so Here's the breakdown of the price of the items. So I did a silicone deposit pack, which had a retail value from my shop for $125.50. That's the cost if you would have bought it. The sub pack, the cost is $99.50 if you bought it straight from the website, okay? So what is in the sub pack and epoxy pack, you ask? So I have the answer for In the sublimation pack, you have two six panel pillows. That's them right there. Two Christmas stockings, two passport covers, five cell phone grips, two dog tags, one business card holder. Somewhere on this picture, I don't know where it's at, but it's in the bag. Two MDF luggage tags, that's the luggage tags right there. Two keyless entry keychains, two t-shirt keychains, 10 Christmas ornaments, so all different kind of Christmas ornaments, two MDF love photo frames, and that's them right there, and then one sheet with eight air fresheners on it. And all of this together, the value is $99.50. Then, we have the epoxy packet. You get one standard domino mold, and that's the blue one. That is the thin domino. It's an inch thick, one inch wide, two inches long. They are not, okay? Let me put this out. They are not many dominoes. Maybe you need to see me when I say this. The standard domino mold. So I sold one to a person, and I know she was very upset. She said it was a mini domino mold. However, it wasn't. Mini dominoes are about this tall and that wide. Standard are the smaller dominoes. But I did put the measurements on my website, and the measurements are there for the stuff that I have, especially for the dominoes, because I know people, a lot of people are messed up. So these are the standard dominoes. So let me go back and explain how much what's in the pack. I just had to put that out. I don't want nobody saying, oh, I got the mini dominoes. You did not get the mini dominoes, huh? So you have the standard domino mold, which is the blue one, the do jumbo domino mold. So this one is the jumbo and it'll either be beige or pink. So the width is one inch by two inches and the thickness is about a half, in half an inch for a finished domino five pipettes, one sleeve of medicine cup, one silicone measuring cup, two silicone stir sticks, and one epoxy brush. Okay, so what I would do on this drawing, if your number is poor, you can get the silicone pack for 25% of the cost, which is $31 or if you win for the sub pack, which is a retail value of $99.50, you can get that for 25% of that price, which is $25 plus shipping, okay? The shipping right now is about $8 to $9 because this um, epoxy pack is like two pounds, 12 ounces. The um, sub pack is like two pounds, eight ounces, all right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this drawing. Do understand that you do not have to do this. You do not have to do this. 
If you do not want to pay for it, just let me know and I'll draw again until I give it away at that price at 25%. Once we give them two packs away at 25%, then I'm going to do it at 50%. So I go back and I do another drawing and the silicone pack at 60% is $62. Remember, it's $125.50 and remember all the stuff you get. The sub pack at 50% is $50. So that'll be another drawing that I'll do later. But right now we're gonna do this 25% drawing right quick. So let me get to my screen. So we're up here at the Wheel of Names. And this is the wheel, the exact wheel I used earlier today. I sold 30, I mean 30, I'm on the wrong one. So this is the silicone epoxy pack. I sold 79 tickets. So number 36 is the person who won every day. You see the tickets are numbered from one through 79. The spaces are 36 won earlier today and that was Miss Wanda Smith. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that ticket out because it has already won. Go ahead and close that space so I won't have that space again. So there we go, we're number from one to 79 and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shuffle three times. One, shuffling the numbers, two, three. And now I'm gonna do a spin. Those of you who still have your tickets, Good luck. You have 24 hours to let me know if you're going to accept this packet. Once you accept it, you'll have 72 hours to pay for it. If you don't pay within the 72 hours after accepting, then I will draw again. Good luck. So the winner, the winner for the second chance silicone pack is number 31. And we'll go ahead and remove that number because we have at least one more drawing for the 50% and possibly more than that if number 31 does not accept this. So we'll go ahead and we'll save this and we'll go to the next drawing. This is the silicone pack. Okay, and we're going to open up the drawing for the sub pack. I sold 30 tickets. You see it's number from 1 to 30. The winner this um, earlier today was number 19. We're going to go ahead and take number 19 out. Okay. So we have one through 30, and this is for the sublimation pack, one through 30, minus number 19, and we're gonna shuffle three times. One, two, three, good luck, second chance. Sublimation pack. Wow. That's awesome. The winner for the sublimation pack, the winner is number one. That's the first person to buy the ticket. So that is the second chance drawing for the 25% price. Again, if you won for the sub, which is um, your ticket number is number one. That price for the sublimation pack would be $25 per plus shipping. If you want for the silicone epoxy pack, that price is $31 and the winner is number 31. How about that? So you have 24 hours from the time I post this video, which should be, let's just say 24 hours from eight o'clock Tuesday morning, September the 23rd, you have 24 hours so you have until Wednesday morning at 08, which is Eastern time, the 24th of September to let me know if you're gonna accept this packet. Then you have 72 hours after that to pay for the packet. It's the packet 
price plus shipping and handling. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't bore you too long with this drawing. I just want to get everybody to know what we're doing in CCBAB. We have a great time. We do a lot of giveaways. We do a lot of contests. We do a lot of challenges. And I give a lot of classes. As a matter of fact, I just finished doing a two-week mini business basics boot camp. We had an undergrad, we had a distinguished undergrad, we did a graduation ceremony in a group. I think the people who did the class had a great time. They learned a lot of stuff. We started with 25 people. We graduated nine. The assignments were kind of hard, but I know everybody got something out of it because I'm still getting inboxes and comments saying how much they enjoyed and how much they learned and how much it's helping their business. So maybe you can get in on one of the classes in order to get on the class, you need to get in the Facebook group. Cricket crafting dot, 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 the beginning and beyond the um, link is below. I hope you all have a good day. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also hit the bell, ding, 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 so you'll be notified when I upload new videos or go live on YouTube. Have a good one and thank you so much.